Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to a new video. I am on my way to the gym right now. I'm gonna do a Peloton class and some legs. Nothing crazy though. I've honestly been pretty tired lately, mentally and physically, so <laughs> I haven't been like giving it my all in the workouts, but yeah, I've just been like in a weird mindset, which maybe I'll talk more about um, later on in the video, but yeah, I've been like not unhappy, but just like feeling really strange, so maybe I'll talk about that later, but it's just been like frustrating. I don't know, but <laughs> um, I'm about to go to the gym. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a bunch of boxes in the back of my car because if you guys didn't know, I'm moving in a little under a month. Um, and so we got some new furniture, just like a few things. And it's like slowly coming in, but I don't want to bring it inside because I would just have to bring it back out when we move. And so I'm just going to like leave it in my car. So for the next month or so, my car is going to be a mess, but... That's okay. Today is just a normal work day. Um, I don't really have too many errands or anything like that. So, should be a pretty chill vlog. That's all. Okay, bye. Okay, wait guys, I just got to the gym. But I just wanted to tell you guys something because I just remembered it. So, um, yesterday I got a PR package from North Face. And it was the cutest thing. I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram story, but basically they sent like a s'mores kit and it had like chocolate and graham crackers and marshmallows and everything and um they sent this little like fire thing to like make a flame but anyways they also sent this little sweatshirt and a hat but this sweatshirt smells like campfire i don't know how they did it but that was so smart it like legit smells so much like campfire and it's making me so happy because you know like the morning after like on a summer night and you have a fire with like all your friends and then the next morning you wake up and you like all your clothes still smell like fire even though you like changed your clothes and like your hair is just like fire for weeks that's what's around me of like just like summer being like in high school and stuff but yeah random thought oh i just thought i forgot my airpods but they were charging which i think they're still pretty dead the amount of times that i get to the gym and i can't do peloton class because my air AirPods are dead. It's really unfortunate because you get all like amped up, you know, like you get all excited. Oh, also, I don't think I showed you guys this, but I also recently got this bag in PR from Thread Wallets, and it's just like a little crossbody, like black bag. And it's nothing like crazy special, but it's been so convenient, and I like how it's just plain. Like, I don't know, I just feel like it fits my vibe, and I would feel comfortable like wearing this out like when I'm going to dinner and stuff because it's just like black but also it's nice to just run errands and like put my my wallet and my phone in here and like carry my camera because I'm always like because I never bring a bag except I was bringing a tote bag everywhere and that was awesome too <laughs> but I washed it and it shrunk it legit was like this big after I washed it I was like okay end of that era but yeah, I always just like am carrying around a bajillion things. And so um, this bag makes it so much easier. So if you guys are looking for like a plain, not necessarily like fashion forward bag, definitely check this one out from Thread Wallet. I'm not sure how much it is, but um, couldn't be too much because their phone cases aren't like crazy and neither are their wallets. But anyways, okay, into the gym. We go it's 10 o'clock right now i wanted to go earlier but i was just dilly dallying been in a weird mood Whew! okay done with my workout and uh, my hair is scary now i'm gonna go take a shower and get my work day started Hi guys, so I just got out of the shower and I got dressed for the day. I'm just, you can't really see, but <laughs> I'm just cozy wearing these shorts from Princess Polly and this little Aritzia tank. And for a change, I didn't put on a watch. I actually put on a few of these little bracelets, which I feel like, I don't know, I was just in the mood for today. And also one of you commented that 
or maybe it was a DM, I can't remember, but they were like, you should adjust your um, white balance when you're like vlogging in your bathroom. And I was like, why have I never thought of that? Because I always have my camera on auto, but I was like, well, let me adjust it in the bathroom because the light is so yellow. It worked. <laughs> I don't know why. I was just like, well, it's on auto. Like it would adjust how it was supposed to adjust. But I guess like I adjusted it even more and it looks like better. So cool. We're not in like a yellow orange room right now. Also, my battery is about to die. But I wanted to um, talk to you guys about this and it's so random but I was putting it on today after my shower and I was like I need to tell people about this because this is like the best thing so I my whole life have struggled also struggled struggled um also I this is not sponsored even a little bit but this is like genuinely I'm like I need to tell more people about this because people need to know so I have always struggled with razor burn not even just like in the bikini region like literally everywhere my thighs get it really bad and I shave my arms. It's a personal preference. I know everyone's different, but I have really, really dark, thick arm hair, and it always made me super, super self-conscious. I didn't start shaving it until literally last year, and it, like, changed how I felt about myself. Like, I know you're supposed to love yourself how you are, but I really don't think choosing to either remove or not remove body hair, like, is actually altering yourself. It's just, like, a cosmetic thing, and I can always grow my arm hair back out, you know? Like... It just makes me feel better about myself and it's all me like it, it just makes me feel better and I was getting pretty bad razor burn on my arms um, and then my armpits also because I don't shave everything too too often I mean like I mean I guess like every other day just because my hair does grow back so fast and it's so dark and I just prefer to not have much hair in my body um, my armpits I feel like I have to shave every day if I want them to like be cleanly shaven and so those get razor burn really bad anyways long story short is I've tried everything <laughs> you guys for razor burn and Avery just got home from the gym hi, hi. and I miss you I used to use this stuff and it's actually from the men's section. It's like gone. So excuse this nasty bottle, but this stuff does work, but like not amazingly, like it definitely helped, but it wasn't like life changing, but like it's a place to start. But this stuff, you guys, you put it on with like a cotton pad, or at least that's what I do. And I just rub it on the spots that I had shaved. And at first it smells really strongly of like alcohol, like alcohol wipes, you know, it smells really strongly of that, but it doesn't like stay on your skin. And I'm super sensitive to smells and it doesn't bother me. So you'll be fine unless it's like some other like condition, like you have a medical condition that would like make it hard. But anyways, if you don't, it's like the smell goes away super quick, especially if you put lotion on right after, which is what I do, like the smells completely gone. And um, yeah, literally you just rub it on with the cotton pad and I don't think I've like gotten razor burn at all since I started using it. It's hard to tell because right at the time I got this, it looks like I have a top I know, button. I'm trying to make like <laughs> right at the time I got this, I also stopped shaving my bikini line and got a Brazilian wax. It's hard to tell like if, you know, I don't know. But it definitely works on my legs and my arms and yeah, that's that. I just want to tell you guys about that. <laughs> I'm eating some lunch right now, so I figured I would pick up the camera and show you. I'm having this frozen meal from Trader Joe's. It doesn't look like much, but it's the most delicious thing in the world. It's the, I don't know how to say it, vegetable, is it bi birami? Biryani. Bi is it biryani? Biryani. I'm not sure, vegetable but. Biryani. So good. So good. I'll probably have something after this because this never fills me up fully but it's so good you know i used to make stir fries like all the time really all the time i love stir fry but i'd make them the lazy way i wouldn't make like a good real stir fry i'd get like a stir fry like sauce and then just put a bunch of vegetables so it was never like it's better when you make it from scratch mm. Mm. that's so hard though yeah it's a lot of work i also edited a youtube video and made a thumbnail so I just have to set that to upload and then today we have to finish shipping or finish packaging our Depop orders we did not forget about it there just is so many um, so we have to finish those 
and then I want to film a YouTube video. I already posted my TikTok, and then I might have to film one more TikTok. Avery took up number one of the day. <laughs> Two. I had to stop them on the way oh, from the gym. You have a lot of smell on your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I just filmed an assumptions about me video, so that's why I'm sitting here on this chair. But yeah, I just finished. I think I have to get on a call right now and I have to read my texts, but the video was fun. It was a nice change. All right, just finished making a branded TikTok I had to do, and now I'm gonna help Avery with Depop because if you can tell, it's never ending. It's crazy this time. I know. We already have a whole basket. We got a lot more, so I'm gonna join in and save her. Okay, we're still working on Depop stuff, but we're taking a quick break. Having a little snack break, carrots and hummus. I really wanted crackers, but I didn't buy any crackers this week. I forgot to buy them, so carrots it is. I'm really excited because our new nightstands for our new apartment got delivered, so I'm gonna go pick those up in a little bit. I'm really excited to see them. I'm eager to see what material they are because it could be hit or miss, but hopefully a hit because they were expensive. Also, I'm in the market for some bar stools for like our island at our new apartment because we're not gonna get a dining table. Um, so I'm gonna look on Facebook Marketplace because I've heard that that's a good spot to look for furniture. I'll keep you guys updated. We just went and dropped off all of our Depop orders and we also had some packages to pick up and we picked up our um, nightstands that we got and they're a, they're a somewhat awful texture, which is kind of what I was afraid of. But I don't know how much it will matter. Like I, I never touched the surface of my nightstand. So like, what does it matter? You know, it's just like a weird texture. It's sort of like almost like grip tape type of feeling. It's like, I'm weird about like textures and noises and it just was like a weird texture, but <laughs> maybe we could put like a glossy coat on it to like make it at least like feel a little bit smoother. I don't know, but I think it'll be fine either way and it's super cute, so that's all that really matters. But I also got a package from Aritzia, which I ordered this a while ago. I think I showed you guys. I actually got this shirt when I bought these as well, but these came in like way later than everything else. I, I think I've shown you guys a few pieces that I got from Aritzia. It was like all one day. I sat by the pool by myself when I was having a rough day and I just bought a lot of stuff on Aritzia. Um, and it's just finally, this is the last thing that came in. And these are a different material, material than I thought they would be. I thought they'd be more like stiff, like my other Aritzia pants, sort of like dress pants a little bit. And these are like almost like, yeah, you can tell. They're sort of like, I don't even know. They're like a material that sometimes makes my butt look really weird. So let me try them on, but they look like they could be really cute. Let me try them on. Okay, they're not at all what I pictured, but I like them, but not for what I thought I was gonna like them for. I wouldn't wanna wear them like with a crop top. Like this looks weird to me. I feel like I need, a longer shirt so maybe i thought i was gonna be able to wear these for more of like a feminine vibe but i feel like these will be good for a masculine vibe but let me put on a bigger baggier shirt and revisit these pants okay i just tried like a few different outfits and i really i still don't know if i like them this is what i like them with the most you can't even really see hold on okay like i feel like it needs an oversized sweatshirt like this with some like high top vans or converse. Like this is kind of cool, but I don't know if I love them, but I just, I wish it had like a belt or like buttons. Cause this vibe is sort of giving me like scrub, like scrub vibes almost, or like women's work pants, which is like not the vibe I was going for. But like, yeah, I don't know, it's a little bit too tight around the thighs and the butt. I might try to style them a few different ways, but I just don't know what I would wear them with. So I might end up returning them. How much would they? Okay, yeah, I might end up returning them. 
since I don't love them. They just are not what I thought they would be. I thought they'd be a lot, like, just a lot cooler. I don't like how tight they are, but yeah, I don't like them. I think I'm gonna return them, this is sort of a fail. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> I was being so good today, getting so much work done. And I filmed that assumptions video, as you know, but I was just editing, getting super ahead. I can't use any of that footage because I had a piece of my lunch stuck in my teeth the entire thing. Like, right here. I don't know how I never noticed it, but yeah. So I have to refilm that tomorrow. I'm not doing it today. Uh, yeah. So I don't know how much of this vlog I've had food in my teeth, too. It's one of those days, so if there was food in my teeth, I don't want to hear it. I'm aware. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Note to self, next time you do a sit down video, check your teeth. Anyways, <laughs> at least I got one video edited and uploaded today and I can do this one too. Oh my God. I also, um, Avery made a, well, I won't say in case this goes up before she posts her TikTok, but she made something for her TikTok and I'm so full now, but what she made is also what I want for dinner. So I'm like, do I still want that for dinner? But I do. It doesn't make sense when you haven't seen her TikTok. Maybe I should shut up, but it's six o'clock right now. Technically, I work until seven, but I'm like, pretty much wrapped up for the day. I think I'm gonna um, make one last TikTok because it's just like quick and funny. So I'll probably do that really quick before I finish for the night. But I need to um, professionally scroll for a while. <laughs> I always say that. That means I need to scroll on TikTok to get ideas and inspiration. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit, probably when we're making dinner or something. Okay guys, we just had dinner, but I didn't show any of it because I was dealing with something so I didn't want to vlog because I was very upset um, but anyways okay we had ravioli and green beans we were supposed to also have tomato soup but um, it was gross I've had that tomato soup from Trader Joe's before and it was really good and this time it was like super watered down whoever made that batch messed it up but that's okay um, but it was a really unsatisfying meal but it's fine. I'm just in a mood. I really want to cry. But I'm not going to let myself cry over people that don't deserve for me to cry over them. It's not me, by the way, guys. <laughs> not Avery. I also really want crumble cookies. I don't actually. I'm just looking for satisfaction in, um, in a physical um, manner. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just need something that will cheer me up. I'm literally crying over a cookie right now. People are so mean sometimes. And it's just frustrating. Hmm. I'm also kind of frustrated because I finally got the courage to call a therapist today. To try to make an appointment and they never called me back. And I know that there's like a billion other ones and I'll, I can call them, but for some reason, like this one felt comforting to me and I really want to go to this one. But they didn't answer. Maybe they'll call back tomorrow. <sighs> okay, I need to collect myself and then I'll talk to you guys when I do. Okay, I just called my niece to chat. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> She's so cute. She's telling me all about TikTok. Yeah. And um, your new backpack. Because she starts fourth grade. Yeah! That is so, oh my god. <laughs> You're funny. And she's wearing a pretty dress. Show me your dress. Yes, queen. So cute. Okay, guys, change of plans. We, well, okay. I told you I would talk to you when I got out of a hole. And I got out of a, well. I'm doing things to get myself out of a hole because, or what I did. We're getting her out of a hole. I'm getting me out of a hole. I called my niece on the phone and we chatted. And then I, or, and then I was like, I really wanted something yummy for dessert, but we didn't really have anything. And I didn't want to go all the way to crumble cookies because it's like 
30 minutes away and they're not even that good like but i just wanted to go i really don't think crumble's good i mean like it was yummy but like there's something special about it but i just like wanted something good and um we decided that we're gonna go oh hey i decided we decided that we're gonna go to Publix and get ingredients to make a cake bake a freaking cake yeah so i think we're gonna make a chocolate cake with vanilla frosting but we're gonna decorate it all pretty it's literally eight o'clock so we probably won't be eating this cake till like midnight but it's worth it or Yola. we can literally just make brownies no okay we can make a cake we don't have a cake tin take cake pan we're gonna get one okay all right i'm sweating in here without the ac so wow to Publix we go okay we secured the bag we we <laughs> were trying to empty it. We got some cake mix, we got chocolate, and we got some vanilla frosting. I personally wanted to get um, cream cheese frosting, but Avery said it wasn't good in a container, so comment down below. Do you think cream cheese is only good when it's homemade? Because that's cream the first time. Frost. Cream cheese frosting. Yeah. Cause that's the first time I've heard anyone say that, but to be fair, I've never really heard someone be like, mmm, store-bought cream cheese frosting, some vegetable oil, cause Avery didn't want to make cake with olive oil. Okay, batter, oh. <laughs> Batter's me, but it's gonna pour if I show. Avery already tried it, so it's my turn. It's not as good as brownie batter though. It's chocolate cake. I mean, it's real good though. I think I got a lot of raw egg in that bite. <laughs> It tastes oh, sus. No. It tastes sus. Okay. Let's pour it into the pan. Oh. I'm really just letting Avery take the reins on this one. She says that you can make a cake like this, so. Never forget to prepare your baking tray. Whatever you're cooking in or it will not come out. Do butter. 